Welcome back to Breakfast Central. Let's share with you what's trending around the continent. Very interesting what's happening in Kenya. Did you know that there was an off days, an office of the first daughter? Or how, in fact, Liz would share with us how it is. Good morning, Elizabeth Musa. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning to you, Olive. Office of the first daughter. First daughter? Quite interesting, right? And this particular story is creating so much criticism as there's backlash from citizens of Kenya as President William Ruto's daughter, Shalene Ruto, has defended her office of the first daughter title. Now, a development that has continued to cause an uproar on social media, making her a trending topic daily in the Kenyan social media space. Now, she has reacted to the people's criticisms. She issued a statement last week saying that the office of the first daughter is a private entity also clarifying that it was not constitutional and assured Kenyans that it is not funded by taxpayers' money. Interesting, right? Now, that's the statement you can read on your screen. Now, the statement reads as this. It says, the office of the first daughter is a private entity. It is neither a constitutional office, nor is it being, fun nor is it being funded by Kenyan taxpayers. The office runs to purely facilitate the activities of and any programs by Ms. Shalene Ruto, now, one of the main objectives of this office is advocating for youth-based agendas and climate change advocacy. Let's see some of the reactions trailing this story. This quite interesting story on social media. That one is from uh, on Tita Brandon said, Kibaki and Uhuru tried so much in keeping their families out of uh, the limelight. The day I saw the first daughter tra uh, traversing the counties and meeting top county officials, I knew something fishy was going on. Why create the office of the first daughter? That's the question from Brandon. We'll take a look at more uh, reactions on the story. That one is from Henley. Henley says, so the question is, if the office isn't getting funded by the taxpayers, who exactly is funding the office? The big question there from Henley. And that one is from Cobb Metal. He says, not sure why this is an issue of uh, contention amongst Kenyans. She has the right and capacity to move and shake things for Kenyans who might need um, help and support. We have such backward mentality of building, uh, pulling down and destroying others instead of building what may serve the common good for those in need. Now, those are some of the reactions on this story on social media. Quite interesting if you ask me. That one is from Patty Wangui. Patty says, I love the way you're creating a conversation. Everything you do is content. That's how you know you're doing something right. Don't expect everyone to cheer you on. Keep going. Don't stop. That comment is from Patty Wangui. We'll, take, we'll go straight to Nigeria where Afrobeat singer Davido has become the first Nigerian celebrity to have a picture with the most likes on Instagram. The Afrobeat singer Davido made a triumphant return to social media on the 18th of December, which is on Sunday, and shared adorable photos of himself and his sweetheart Chioma. This is his first social media post since the death of their son Ifanya Adeleke in October of 2022. The couple have avoided social media since this tragedy, but since his return, millions of Nigerians and followers from across the world have flocked to, um, to their photos, to their Instagram page, and like these photos. Now, these photos have garnered over 1.7 million likes on Instagram and close to approximately over 230,000 comments, which is the highest ever Instagram for any Instagram post in Nigeria. Now, let me also remind you guys that it's imperative to note that David alongside Aisha and Trinidad Cardona sang the song higher higher better together for the 2022 world cup soundtrack creating history and inspiring pride among nigerians and by extension all of africa so shout out to davido for doing um things doing things now the reactions have been very hard to warm you know, we'll, see, we'll see some of them right away that one is from johnny drill johnny drill says all love to you both king and queen all my love to you both king and queen that's from johnny drill and this is from The Real Femi. Femi says, may you continue strong on your healing journey. That's a big prayer from The Real Femi. And that one is from uh, popular Obi Kubana. Obi Kubana says, the whole world is happy. And he has this love struck emoji going right there. And this one is from Neo Akpofure. Neo says, Obio is back. I feel better now. We all feel better, don't we? So those are some of the trend, uh, trending stories I can bring to you on social, 
from social media today for Trendwave. I will tell you they're really interesting and um, very heartwarming for me. At the office of the first daughter, I'm all for it. Create opportunities for yourself and, and also in that same vein, create opportunities for other people. That's how I see it. And also for Davido, quite, quite heartwarming to see him back and better. But better together. We're better together. Olive and Osage. Um, for me, you. Um, you know, as the Charlene Ruto story, you know, she said it's not an official, you know, um, you know appointment. She, she's not getting paid with taxpayers' money. You know, the office almost doesn't exist except in her head and on her social media page. Um, and so I don't see why there is a problem, you know, if she has clarified. And of course, I would also expect that the government of the Kenyan government should also clarify that, yes, there is no actual office and it's not being funded by uh you know the, the, the kenyan uh, taxpayers and you know, all of that then of course everyone should just give it a rest she's um you know having fun you know and if i was uh if my father was president i probably would have my own office of the second son because i'm the second <laughs> son uh, you know, I, I definitely will so it's not it's not it's not a problem well on the one hand a part of me wants to say yes gender equality you know, go five of the United Nations Summit Sustainable Development Goals. You know, she's not writing anybody. Women empowering women. Yeah, I understand all of that. And I see where both of you are coming from. But on the other hand, people in public positions must also be very careful not to take actions that might incite the public, especially because she's at the helm of leadership. Kenya is in a very sensitive place. The Her father's 100 days in office is currently being reviewed. So any little thing can tip people off the edge. So right now, we must be careful. The kind of... Uh, impression you want to pass along to the public because you do not want them. I mean, how many people can you really explain to their noise in taxpayers' money and expect them to believe you? They wouldn't believe you. They're anyway. going to ask you. So how then are you? Yeah, but what, what does money? the office do? Well, she's doing she's stuff in, uh, as regards you, climate change and climate all the change as well. Exactly, and that's great. But that name was it really be that? You know, she should have just taken any other name. It's being sensitive to the plight of the people. Kenya is not where it ought to be. So right now, she can't just you know. She can't just agree, decide actually. to um, do things on a whim. But that's that's just that for that. I Who know. knows? If I, my father was president, I'd probably do office of the first dot. No, second dot. <laughs> but that's a joke. Thank you very much, Lise, for joining office us. Office of the favorite morning. child. Of the my pleasure, Ooh, guys. I love that. <laughs> office, office of the favorite. And office for, of the first no, song. David Doe and uh, Chum, I'm very happy to see them back. We're happy to have seen them perform at the World Cup. And we're happy to see them back on social media. We're happy. We're just really happy. It's been a traumatic wrap of the year for him and a traumatic 30th birthday for David Doe. So just very happy to see them back and smiling and we hope that their smile very lasts so. forever and ever. Thank you, Liz, I agree. My for pleasure. joining us. All right, thanks, Liz.